This is kind of a wrap up of kerosene solutions. Um, like I had said earlier, we were wiped off the map in 2005 with Hurricane Ivan. And I learned a lot. Um, you may not have electricity for a long time, and you may not be able to leave because of trees being down for a long time. And you're going to need a system. And I've looked at a lot of different systems, and I, I think this is probably the best idea. Um, I've already showed you how to store kerosene. I've showed you how to cook on kerosene and light with kerosene. And right now I thought I'd show you how to heat with kerosene. So let me show you. When I first got involved with kerosene heaters, I was very, very unimpressed with them. Uh, they gave me headaches. Uh, it, it was just bad. Doing further due diligence, I realized that the whole problem was me. I didn't have the wick adjusted properly and I didn't have the machine broken into. So I, there's a lot of good information out on YouTube about kerosene heaters. So I'm just going to do this kind of like an introduction and show you how to get these very inexpensively. But a, a couple of things first off. You need to have really good kerosene when you burn these. Okay. Second, you need to burn a tank or two um, of kerosene outside. Okay, That's going to break in the machine and season it. It's going to burn off the oils that the manufacturer had used in manufacturing it. Uh, there's two types of kerosene heaters, by the way. These are called radiant heaters. They are cool to the touch on the back and the sides. They get hot on the top, but uh, you can pretty much put them up against the wall with just a little bit of clearance. They're made for small areas, small rooms. And if it's a large room, go ahead and put two in there, one on either side. Kerosene heaters are designed to be burned full out. Okay. Uh, there's no low setting or medium setting. And that's why you have to have kerosene heaters sized for the application that you're using. And there's primarily two types. Radiant heaters, these smaller ones that are rectangular in shape. And then there's convection heaters, which are the round ones that everybody's familiar with. Uh, they burn very hot, and those are used for very large rooms. Another reason for kerosene heaters, even if you have wood stoves, um, you may not be able to get to the wood easily, say it's an ice storm, or you may not be able to store uh, wood on your property, or kerosene. They're saying that a wheelbarrow of wood is equivalent to one gallon of kerosene in BTUs. So, and you may not have wood available in your area, so kerosene would also be a good idea. I also like kerosene because these require no electricity at all. There's no fans blowing. There's no, um, you can light them with a match. They're, it's, it's a wonderful idea. Doesn't send up smoke. Kerosene heaters. Another thing is purchase them now. Purchase them before you need them. Both of these were purchased off of Craigslist. This one's $20 and this was $40. Also check out yard sales. Uh, during the summer, you're going to, they're not thinking about it and they're just getting rid of them. During the winter, you're going to pay full retail, $180, $250. And you want to have a couple of these. Also, every year you want to uh, change out the wick if you're using this for a primary heat source. I would crack the window, you know, maybe an inch or so to allow fresh air into that room. And these heaters only smoke really when you turn them on and when you shut them off. They tell you not to move them when they're burning, but if you start these outdoors and roll them in on a little wagon, and then before you shut them off, you know, burn them out, uh, do it outside, you won't have that kerosene smell. These things burn really, really efficient. Again, if you have a good wick, clean kerosene, 
you're burning the flame at the proper height. One last small thing. Keep this tray really clean from uh, dog and cat hair and that kind of thing if you have animals. Because this draws air in and up through the center of this machine. Uh, these things are great. They're very inexpensive. Like I said, they don't require electricity. They sip kerosene. Uh, I burned both of these out on a tank and I forget how long. I, it was unreal. 14 hours and 12 hours. It, it was just... Pick these up. Get yourself a bunch. I'll catch you on the next one.